Welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading. I just flew out with the chariot. Some of you are moving forward towards victory after a time of delay. But let's get your tip down here so you can see your cards come out. Here doing your daily love reading. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, let's see what's going on in work for you guys. Oh, the Ace of Swords, a brand new opportunity. Something new is coming in for you that will hold a lot of success. It's also allowing you to work in a position that you feel you are truly meant to be doing. Holy cow. Some of you could be meeting your, your person at a job or the two of you are coming together to begin your soul's purpose together uh, for some of you. I'll pull cl clarifiers after we get you all out here. So let's see what's going on in your home life. Earth signs, what's going on in their home life? All right, the Three of Cups. Oh. And the King of Wands. In the Unexpected. The Three of Swords in reverse. Beautiful. In your position, you have the Lovers and the Seven of Wands. Let's get one more for that unexpected here. What's unexpected here for our Earth signs today? The Devil. Who did I just do? Air signs. You should watch Air signs. The Devil was in their other person. So you guys could be linked. Um, and the outcome for today for our earth signs. Whoa. Way too many. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, the nine of pentacles. Beautiful energy that is independence. Um, doing what makes you happy, taking the time to invest in your own future, taking the time to um, build up who you want to be, who you feel you are meant to be, um, gaining your independence from a broken relationship, a toxic hold that was on you, um, and it's bringing in a beautiful, blessed opportunity to build a new um, life, to build a new home, to build... Um, that happy ever after that you are looking for. Okay, so why is the Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups here? So for some of you, you're receiving enlightenment when it comes to somebody in your life. Wow, recognition, success, bottom of the deck, lovers. Okay, so this necessarily isn't about your work. This is about your soul's purpose, your work um, here on earth. You're receiving clarity on what path you're supposed to choose and who you're supposed to to walk that path with, where this um, life is leading you. Um, it's going to lead you to success and happiness. It's also going to lead you to recognition, being um, publicly acknowledged. Um, you are realizing your path. You're, you're waking up to your truth, who you truly are, where you're truly meant to be and what you're truly meant to be doing. So I do feel some of you are successfully moving towards a soulmate and beginning your soul's purpose together, um, especially if they are a fire sign or a water sign. All right, in your home, you have the Three of Cups with the King of Wands. You're going to move. Wow, there's that King of Wands again. All right, so most definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, because we also have Emperor in the outcome as well as Six of Wands in your first position. But this most definitely is a lot of passion. One of you has been waiting for a while to come together. Um, this could have been a third party situation. Doesn't have to be. But the two of you coming together, this connection, is bringing a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, and a new home. 
as you remember, your new home is in the uh, shared energy. Why is the three of cups here in the home? Okay, the prince of swords. So, the truth will set you free and bring you happiness. It will bring you in your wishes. So, you are speaking the truth to somebody. Um, for some of you, you could be telling people about this connection. You could be telling them about how we are perfect, how we, how much passion and love you have for this person. Also, uh, you are really deciding, <coughs> excuse me, to live your life your way. You're making decisions based on your true heart's desire. No longer conforming to what everybody else wants. No longer toxically holding on to somebody who didn't make your heart happy. You are breaking free from that. The unexpected is you are walking away from the devil and healing that broken heart. Um, releasing the toxicity, the doubts, the worry. Um, and you're allowing your heart to heal. Um, allowing yourself to move in the forward of your truth. Why is the lovers and the seven of wands here? This has been a fight to get to this position. Um, it was not easy for you to let this go. Um, but this is a divinely guided situation and you are choosing who you truly love this person could have been a secret but you feel this person is most definitely the perfect balance in your life the the you know the peanut butter to your jelly type of love what is the seven wands here yeah it was a fight breaking free from this devil it was a fight for your independence somebody did not want to let you go Somebody or something, like if it was, you know, an addiction, it was hard to fight that. But I'm seeing more as this is a person. I'm seeing um, uh, Capricorn very heavy with the two. But um, this this could have been just somebody that you were bonded to. Soul tied to or legally married to. But they did not want to release you. And it just became toxic. But you are going to come out on top. You are going to gain your independence so you can move forward with um, your true heart's desire. You've taken a lot of time to think about this, Earth signs, a lot. And you're now ready to begin a new cycle. You're ready to come out of that hermit. And you're doing what's best for you and walking away from a situation that was not good for you. And you're taking back control of your life. Um, yeah, leaving behind the cold relationship. Look at that. You're walking away from that. No longer going to be in the dark. No longer um, choosing to be out in the cold instead of following your own inner light. It's like you were trying to shut the light off so it stayed dark in there. So you didn't have to leave. Uh, because it was difficult. You had to really break. You had to really do everything you could to break free from these either toxic thoughts or this bonded relationship. But you are allowing yourself to go with the flow and it's bringing your vibration back up it by you taking back control of your life and allowing things to change the karmic wheel is going to bring you in many blessings um once again allowing that change the two of pentacles oftentimes is cycles you could be trying to enter someone's life again in the same cycle and they're shutting you down possibly um and you're going to come back. You're going to walk away from this situation. And you're going to come back um, to what who you're meant to be. Because you know that this person is your future. You know how much success this person are, will bring your life as in like personal success. Um, also, this person could be very successful working in their truth. They could be very well known in the community. And you're wanting... That opportunity you're wanting this chance with them by you being strong and uh, you know gaining your independence releasing the ending of that past relationship that had reached its you know its end you are going to get a new beginning with somebody who is your divine partner um, could be a fire sign once again um, we got Sagittarius there with temperance but you had to walk you have to walk away from a home that you already have with somebody if you want a new if you want this commitment um but by you allowing yourself to move forward it is bringing in your answered prayers um oh wow 
All right, so we're gonna go a little bit further on the Vimeo side. We'll see what your blocks are, what you have to do to clear those blocks, um, what your outcome is um, as far as a timeline. I'm also pulling exactly what zodiacs this is for. So come on over and see what zodiac signs are coming in, offering this beautiful connection for you, as well as anything else we can get out for information. So join me over there, Earth Signs. I'd love to see you. God bless.